Hello everyone, today I am going to talk about the new update releasing in Zoom video conferencing app. Let's see what was that. Before that, to know a bit more on everything, please subscribe my bit more YouTube channel and turn on the notification. And hit the like button for every video. Let's get started. Video conferencing tool Zoom is releasing an update for its app today that is 9th May 2020 as part of its 90 day plan to enhance the tool's security. In this new update, the tool will be added new security feature for personal meeting IDs for all basic accounts. With the new update, Zoom will require passwords on all basic accounts. Apart from this, it will also set the defaults for waiting rooms on and screen sharing for host only. Waiting rooms will be on by default for all personal meetings IDs. Only the host can then let anyone into the meeting from the waiting room, allowing them to select meeting participants. Apart from this, only the host will able to share their screen on personal meeting IDs. And the company had said some important points in his official blog post that are as follows. At a future date, we will institute new defaults and settings for all Zoom accounts. Most notably, passwords will require for all meetings, webinars, including phone attendees. We will also provide most management over virtual background and will disable the ability to join meetings from multiple devices. These are the things that the company has mentioned in his blog post. It will also add prompts to remind users to update their Zoom version to the latest Zoom 5.0 version with more security updates including Zoom's new encryption system. The update also allows user to report a user within the meeting. It also allows the host to eject a user from the meeting. Zoom 5.0 becomes generally available on April 27th. Only Zoom clients on version 5.0 or later including Zoom rooms are now available to join Zoom meetings. Last week, Zoom had released a security update for personal meeting IDs allowing account owners and admins to disable the use of personal meeting IDs for scheduling and starting an instant meeting. Because personal meeting IDs are always accessible using the same ID or meeting link, anyone can join unless they are properly secured. Disabling the use of personal meeting IDs reduces the risk altogether and doesn't leave personal meeting ID security up to individual users. This option to disable personal meeting IDs can be locked at the account or group level. This is about the new update on Zoom app. If you like this video, please hit a like button and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.